Hi everybody, my name is Sean O'Kane with Chip Estimate TV and ChipEstimate.com where we bring you the latest trends and information in semiconductor design and IP. My guest today is Marios Papaefimu from Cyclos and of course Dr. John Heinlein, uh, Vice President of the Physical IP Division with ARM. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks Sean. We're here at the uh, Common Platform Tech Forum 2013 and John, uh, right off the bat, at the highest level, it, the, what I have gotten from this is this tremendous collaboration with ARM, IBM, Cadence, Samsung, and, uh, and others. Um, and, and a lot of the talk is surrounding the 14 nanometer uh, FinFET technology. That's important, and why is it important to you? Well, you know, we've been collaborating with Common Platform for many years now. I, I can't, I've lost count of how many of these shows and how long we've been working with Common Platform. It's such an important engagement with uh, IBM, a uh, key technology provider, uh, Samsung and Global Foundries. Uh, this show today is a lot about 14 nanometer FinFET and kind of the next generation coming up uh, late this year, early next year uh, for advanced uh, chip designs. We've talked a lot today and Dipesh Patel, the general manager of our physical IP division, uh, gave a keynote earlier talking about how we're investing very early uh, and developing uh, early silicon proof points uh, and test chips to help push out the, uh, to help eliminate the risk and prove out the technology very early. We announced a collaboration in December with Samsung, where we, we did a very advanced Cortex A7 based test chip on their 14 nanometer process. Right. The earliest ever we've done such an advanced test chip to really prove out the technology. It's very exciting. Yeah, and uh, there was an announcement today with your collaboration with Global Foundries, uh, specific to Cyclos, and your low power techniques and your technology there. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so, so Cyclos Semiconductor is um, commercializing technologies for getting high performance, low power clocking into next generation SOCs. Uh, clocking is a big deal. If you want to run a two, three, four gigahertz, you really need to get your clocking to, to, do, to, to, to go fast. Right. And you, you want all your margins to be razor thin. You also want your power consumption to, to go down because if you don't control your power consumption, then uh -huh the chip is not going to run as fast as you want. So that's what Cyclos does. We do high performance, low power clocking. And the Cyclos technology has already been proven uh, in real silicon, in commercial grade silicon. Uh, AMD had an announcement last, uh, last February at mm -hmm. ISSC 2012, uh, in which they described an implementation of our technology in their pile driver for gigahertz core. So that's as a great proof pro proof point and now Global Foundries, of course, this is a great announcement for us. Yes. It's making the technology broadly available and uh, it's, 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 it's going to be a, a fantastic year for us, we expect. And, and you know, with the, the Cortex-M0 was chosen uh, for this uh, test tape out. So there's, there's a couple different test chips we talked about today. Oh, that's with, right. There's a 14 nanometer test chip with IBM that's using yeah. Cortex-M0 subsystem. Later in the year, we did a test chip with Samsung Cortex A7. Oh, okay, right. And then the announcement that Marios was mentioning with, uh, with Global Foundries announced just today was Global Foundries investing in doing implementations of Cortex A15 using and incorporating Cyclos technology to help drive down power and performance uh, right. on those advanced implementations. So yeah, right. a wide range of ARM cores serving different applications uh, and different proof points. Well, if you wanted to expand a little bit about the low power, uh, the importance of low power. Uh, you know, as, as we're getting into, uh, you know, the leading edge devices everyone knows and loves, they, they love it when the performance of their device gets faster and faster. But of course, uh, leakage power and power in general is not keeping up. So we need to continue to do new techniques to improve the power performance. FinFET technology has the promise to really improve that by reducing operating voltage and improve the performance you get for a certain amount of power. Cyclos technology is another example of something that, that can be helpful. So we see the, the common platform partners, all three of them, investing very heavily in real technology innovation mm -hmm. to continue this uh, the scaling that we all know and love. Yeah, I mean, with all the, the new uh, features in, in, in mobile technology, low power is key. Sure. And, uh, but uh, everything... I mean, power consumption is really the number, enemy number one at this point. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it limits portability, but it also limits performance. You must have heard about dark silicon. You can scale and you can put more devices on, on silicon, but you cannot really keep all of them active at full speed all the time. So that's what dark silicon refers to, the parts of the chip that you cannot keep active. And that's because the power densities are too high. 
So if you really want high performance, you really need to control power. Of course, if you want mobility, you also need to control power consumption because your battery is not going to last as long. So for mobility, for high performance, power is, is, is key. So. Well, thanks for spending a little bit of time with us here today. Uh, uh, for uh, Marius uh, Papa Ephemu and Dr. John Heinlein with uh, ARM. My name is Sean O'Kane. We'll see you next time on Chip Estimate TV.